In this video, we'll calculate the formal charge for each element in SO3, 2 minus. This is called the sulfite ion. So we start with the Lewis structure, and what formal charges are going to tell us is whether this is the best or most likely Lewis structure for SO3, 2 minus. Let's just do the sulfur here in the center. So sulfur, that's in group 16, sometimes called 6A. So just sulfur is going to have six valence electrons. Looking at our Lewis structure, we're going to look at unbonded electrons. Sulfur has two electrons that aren't involved in chemical bonds. They're not between atoms. So we have two of those, and then one half of the bonded electrons. These are bonds, bonds, and then we have a double bond. So we have four, six, eight. Eight over two. So six minus two minus four, that gives us a zero. So this sulfur in the center is going to have a formal charge of zero. And note, even though it has more than eight valence electrons, that's okay. Sulfur is an exception, it can have an expanded octet. For the oxygen atoms, we have these two right here. They're identical. So let's just do one of these, the single bonded oxygen. So we'll put an oxygen here. Oxygen is in group 16 with sulfur. It has six valence electrons. Then we're looking at unbonded, two, four, six. So six unbonded electrons. And then we'll subtract one half of the bonded. There are only two here. This is a single bond, so two over two. We end up with six minus six. That gives us zero minus one. We have a minus one formal charge here for this oxygen. And since this is the same here, just a single bond, minus one as well. Let's do the oxygen with the double bond. Oxygen, that's going to be six because it's oxygen. And then we're looking unbonded, two, four. So four unbonded, and then the bonded, we have the double bond here. So two, four. So we have four, but we divide that by two. Six minus four is two, minus two is zero. So this oxygen has a formal charge of zero. So at this point, these two oxygens here, their formal charge is minus one. But that makes sense because it's an ion. The total ionic charge is two minus. So we have two negative ones, that equals this two minus here. So that makes sense, but everything else is as close to zero as it can possibly be. We said the sulfur in the center, that was zero. That makes this the most likely or favorable Lewis structure for SO3, two minus. This is Dr. B calculating the formal charge for each element here in SO3, two minus, the sulfite ion. Thanks for watching.